Hello and welcome to the video. Um, we're going to go through the process of downloading and updating an Unreal Engine plugin. I've chosen SerialCom. It's a plugin that I've used several times before and it's usually used to communicate uh, with uh, an Arduino and Unreal Engine. Um, so you notice this current version is only updated until version uh, engine version 5.4 and there isn't yet a 5.5 version of it uh, been released by the maintainer. Um, so what we'll do, we will download a copy of it um, using the link here and then use that to uh, update the plugin and install it into an engine version 5.5. Now before you can compile a plugin, you need to make sure that you set up Visual Studio and that your Unreal Engine can compile projects fine without any issues. So just Go for this guide here, make sure you switch on the various C++ options that need to be installed with Visual Studio. And once you can verify and check that your compilers are working, then you can go ahead and make the plugin. With that done, let's get started. The source code is available, that's really important. You'll need that to be able to compile it. So I've downloaded this from the link here and I've already got it ready in this folder. I'm just going to unzip it, which will give us a serial com project like this. We also then need to create a new Unreal Engine project. So I'm going to open Unreal Engine 5. And once it opens, we're going to make a new C++ project. There won't be any coding in this. We just need to use this to be able to compile the plugin. So we switch it to C++, leave start our content off. And we'll make a, a new project here. Give the shaders and the projects a moment to compile. Then you'll have a new Unreal project like this, just a regular Unreal project that you're used to. You can close this down and we are going to take our plugin, copy this, and we'll open up the folder that contains our project. Here we need to make a new folder, we'll call this plugins, and we'll paste that in there. Once you double click the U project, you'll notice it comes up with this message here. The plugin was designed for build 5.4, attempt to load it anyway, click yes. And it asks about missing modules, would you like to rebuild them? Click yes as well. Unreal Engine will then start the build process. This is to get the plugins ready to be used within this particular engine project um, but we'll package the plugin as well in a moment so we can use it within other projects so give it a moment to update and open up your real project and what you should see now if you go to edit plugins you have the serial com plugin there ready for you Now we're going to do a very quick test. We'll make a little blueprint actor, drag it into the world and we'll just edit it. And we'll see if our plugin is available for us. So we've got open serial port and this will just return an error because I've got nothing uh, plugged in. So this will just throw a false message because there's no um, external serial devices plugged into this computer. So we'll hit play and it will just give us a false. That's fine. So the next thing we're going to do is package our plugin. So we'll just go to plugins, find the plugin you want to package, click the package button there. And this time we're going to save it to a packaged folder. And I'm going to select that folder there. This will now compile the, the plugin ready to be used in other projects. We'll just give it a moment to compile. Now that the plugin has been packaged, we can install it to our Unreal Engine. So if you go to your engine installation folder, probably something like this C program files, Epic Games, 5.5, .5, engine 
engine plugins and look for the one called marketplace now you've got to make sure that you install it into the marketplace folder otherwise when we come to package the project it won't work properly so let's find our package plugin which is in here we'll just copy this and paste it into there that should be now when we open up Unreal Engine for a blueprint project or another C++ project the plugins now installed inside of the editor and ready for us to use so we'll test this by making a new blank this time blueprint project and we'll save it into our blueprint folder here make a little test project like so click create and once that's opened we can check to see if the plugin is available so it'll be under input it's currently switched off so we need to now turn it on that's fine it's currently flagged as beta but that's okay um, we'll just restart the editor And now we should have access to the plugin. So we're gonna do a quick test. We're gonna to go to content. We're going to make a new blueprint class. We're gonna choose actor. We'll call it serial test. We'll just double click on this. And on the begin play, we'll try and open the serial port. I've not got anything connected to it, I'll just return a false value. We'll just do a print string on that. And return the result, which should just print out false. Just test that in here. We need to drag that into the world first. So we get our false message, that's fine. And then we're going to try to um, package the project. So we go to, first of all, save the level that we've currently made. So just save all, save this level. And we'll go to our project settings, maps and modes. set those all up make sure it's all saved and we'll just do a quick package test as well so we're in development mode package project and this time we'll go into the game folder blueprint and we'll let the package run it may take a few minutes so once the project is packaged we want to check that it works so we'll go to our packaged folder Open up the game and double click. And we should see our false print string message appear just as it launches up. There we are in the corner. So we've managed to successfully take a plugin that was designed originally for 5.4. We've downloaded it, we've recompiled it and packaged it and installed it into our engine. That means now within our Blueprint projects, we can install, package the plugin and have a successful working EXE out of it. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.